possibly do to Hey, everyone out there in uh, YouTube me, me land, you uh, now that the Trump uh, impeachment hearings have moved over to the Senate, uh, I just want to give my quick impression. Uh, I guess a lot of other people give them kind of the same impression, but I just happen to have some polling data that just popped up today that shows that about uh, one in ten Republicans uh, also agree that Trump should be impeached and removed from office. Uh, four in ten, four out of ten independent voters. And both of those numbers have gone down a bit. So um, obviously the Democrats are, know that they're just riling up their party base at the, at the moment. Uh, nevertheless, uh, if you look at the other third parties and you look at the, some of the people who are watching what's going on, um, especially in the Libertarian Party, we've been talking about some of the criminal wrongdoing that the Trump administration has been involved in, but that unfortunately Democrats have been involved in. And, and the story behind the story, as I've said in my previous statements, is uh, Joe Biden admitting at Council on Foreign Relations, and I'll, I'll put the link down below so you guys can see it for yourself. Biden admitted to a group that he himself flew over to uh, Ukraine and spoke with uh, their people. They were investigating crowd strike and they were investigating Hunter Biden, uh, Joe Biden's kid, and found out that, uh, you know, they were going to transfer $1.8 billion in loans in U.S. taxpayer money into this bank that they created. Unfortunately, what they didn't tell you is afterwards, uh, Biden, Hunter Biden, had somehow absconded with like $1.5 billion, and of the $1.8 billion that was invested in that bank, all of it disappeared. So basically, Joe Biden's own kid, with help from his father, basically just stole $1.5 billion. So your tax money went in, and Hunter Biden walked away with $1.5 billion, and more That's people are asking, why is the guy being paid 50 or $60,000 a month to do nothing? It wasn't clear that he was doing anything except being related to Joe Biden. So a lot of third third parties, but especially the Libertarian Party, uh, you're hearing people talking about wanting, maybe wanting Donald Trump impeached, but the Democrats were looking for something illegal or questionable that President Trump had done that didn't involve corruption by the Democrats, and this is what they picked, and, and, and the story behind the story is they're just exposing their own uh, stealing and shenanigans. So watching the Senate hearings, uh, I'm not impressed. And they're essentially that taking him, making a phone call if he's not to the head of uh, Ukraine and asking their prosecutor to go investigate criminal wrongdoing by CrowdStrike, which Hunter Biden was sitting on the board of. And you can argue that maybe that was done for political gain. Uh, obviously... Uh, if there are two possible motives in a criminal case, and one is lawful and one is unlawful, you do something that would be potentially criminal conduct, but you could have two different reasons to do something. You could be acting in defense of others, and at the same time, you could have some criminal motive. When you do something like that and two possible motives, you have to acquit. So there are apparently two possible motives here. Uh, maybe Trump is doing it for political gain, or maybe he's doing it because he wants to expose corruption by uh, Biden and by all these prominent Democrats. And either motive uh, is you, you can't differentiate between those two. In criminal cases, uh, the jury has to select. Um, if you can't ex exclude all other lawful, rational explanations in criminal law, you can't uh, do anything. Else. So they've had a number of law professors and legal scholars get up and testify, and as you might expect, uh, not very impressive. Uh, but they are getting into some of the really nitpicky details of the history uh, of other potential abuses of power by other presidents. Lincoln, of course, as you remember from history class, uh, rounded up the entire Massachusetts uh, the state legislature and put all of them in jail. It would be nice if we could take the California state legislature, New York state legislature, and put those criminals in jail. But nothing we can do about that now. Uh, but there have been other abuses like Richard Nixon and Lyndon Johnson using the CIA to put a spy in the Barry Goldwater campaign. Um, a lot of other things came up abuse by uh, Nixon at Watergate and Franklin Roosevelt uh, abusing his position. 
uh, right before an election uh, to favor himself. Um, but otherwise, it's a lot of passionate, angry arguments and Republicans pointing out that they weren't allowed to subpoena any witnesses, that they weren't allowed to bring any um, evidence in their favor. None of these guys are acting, as far as I can see, in an impartial manner. Um, and I think that the, what it's doing is, is just bringing the whole process into question, bringing first the House and now the Senate into question, because they're, they're going into it with a very, very clear bias. Uh, and I think it's a, it's a foregone conclusion the way it's going to turn out, because there's a uh, the Democrats don't have the votes in the Senate because they ticked off too much of their own base, and especially the working class, which used to, years and years ago, used to vote Democrat. None of them vote Democrat anymore. All the uh, U.S. House districts with manufacturing, they've all gone Republican. Most of rural America has gone Republican. Uh, most of suburban America is now going Republican. And I think that the Democrats are really just politically, they're just shooting themselves in the foot, trying to rile up their own base, but they've already got a Trump derangement syndrome base out there. And what they should have done, in my opinion, is, is just bite the bullet and accept that there's criminal wrongdoing on both sides, and they should have found something that the Trump administration is doing that the Dem that's illegal that Democrats have been involved in themselves and just, just take the scandal and go through it with that. But, uh, a lot of what's going on overseas. Uh, war crimes in Yemen, as another libertarian candidate pointed out, um, interference in uh, other types of foreign activities, military operations, uh, continuing some of the um, illegal occupations in Afghanistan and other parts of the Middle East. All of those things are illegal. All of those things are impeachable offenses. Unfortunately, all of those things went on under the Obama administration, and they don't want to drag Obama's reputation through the mud because almost everyone who's on the Democrat debate stage right now has close ties with both Obama, Hillary Clinton, Goldman Sachs, and all the big Wall Street money people uh, who are making money off of uh, these uh, foreign deployments. So uh, take what you will of that. Uh, lots of criminal wrongdoing to go around and just all the more reason to vote third party, and especially all the more reason to vote libertarian uh, November 3rd, 2020. Uh, for those of you who uh, like this message, like my messaging, and want to hear about bringing the troops home, ending the war on drugs, getting back to constitutionally limited government, please go to my website, www.abramson2020.org, and just click the donate button or uh, any other way that you can volunteer or help out. So click like and subscribe and leave your comments in the uh, comment section.